Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So here I am with another new subject that is random signal analysis or probability. You can call the subject anyway. In electronics and communication, there will be a subject in one of the semesters which will be called as RSA, that is random signal analysis. This subject can also be called as probability based. So all the students out there who are in the school or in 11th and 12th grade or in the engineering is definitely going to help you because even in engineering you might not be from electronics and communication or such kind of branches but it's definitely going to help you in your mathematics subject. So this sub subject is not only to electronics or such kind of branches but for all branches even for 11th and 12th grade and even if you have probability in your school this particular videos can be helpful to you so please if you like this particular content do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell icon because there are many more videos which are going to be covered on this subject you will be notified every time a new video goes live and also the instagram link is given down in the description box my instagram page has all the formulas Regularly those formula sheets, summary sheets, summary videos will be uploaded on my Instagram page which will be very handy for you at the time of your revision. So please do check out my Instagram page. The links are given down in the description box. And if you like it, do not forget me to follow me over there as well. So let's begin up with random signal analysis or probability. So today is going to be a very short video when we are going to talk about the basic of random signal analysis. Some basic terminology like mutual exclusive events, independent events, De Morgan's law, what does probability actually mean and certain properties of probability. So this is a very basic video. Probably many of you will be aware about it. But please do listen to it, especially the ones who are not aware of this. Because as we move ahead in the video lectures, all these terminologies will be used frequently. And if you are not aware of this, it will be very difficult for you to understand the future concepts as well as apply them in the numericals and in real life applications. So please do understand it very well. Take this video very seriously and watch it till the end. It's a very basic video. As I said, probably many of you will be aware about it. But if you don't know, please do make a point of it. And the notes are present down in the description box. Please download it from there. It will be very handy for your studies. So let's begin with random signal analysis. So what do you mean by it? See, in particular kind of domain or a particular kind of scenario, the signals are not always going to be very steady. Like you have the sine wave, you have the cosine wave. There are different kind of signals and these signals are many times random in nature. So if you want to do the analysis of it, there will go one particular term very much into it, that is probability. Because since these signals are very random and you need to analyze this signal, you cannot have a 100% analysis or a foolproof theorems on that, but they are going to be derived from probability. So these random signals, which are not steady signal or not deterministic signal, if you want to do the analysis of it, it is going to depend about probability. So understanding probability well and applying then on the random signal analysis is the key. So for this, you should understand the probability concepts very well. So let's begin up with some basic terminologies. First is the mutually exclusive events. So what do you understand by mutually exclusive events? So two events are said to be mutually exclusive if they do not happen simultaneously. I repeat, there are two events, let's say A and B, and they are said to be mutually exclusive event if they do not occur simultaneously. That is, they are mutually exclusive, there is nothing common in them. So two events, having said that A and B, if there is nothing common in them or they do not happen simultaneously, they are said to be as mutually exclusive event. The next terminology is independent events. So what do you mean by independent events? As the name suggests, one particular event is going to be independent of the other. 
okay so one event occurrence is not going to matter in the other event occurrence for example you have one event of tossing a coin you have other event of of like you no know, rolling a die these two are completely independent events if you are getting a head in the toss you cannot determine or cannot have a impact on the other rolling of die event so you have to understand that independent events are those events in which one event will not be dependent upon other events occurrence i hope i am very clear with this next we have this sample space which is very important you have a sample space name s there are two events a and b and this common point is called as a intersection b so you have to understand this diagram very well because this diagram will have lot of applications so there is a sample space s there are two events a and b and these two events are common to each other hence there is a intersection between them called as a intersection b next is the de morgan's law now what do you understand by de morgan's law de morgan's law states that a union b the whole bar is equal to a bar intersection b bar so i hope you are very clear with this terms this upper u sign indicates union and this lower u sign indicates the intersection all these things are captured on my instagram page please do check it on my instagram page the links are given down in description box as well so a union b the whole bar is given as a bar intersection b bar similarly a intersection b the whole bar is equal to a bar union b bar now if i talk about probability what do you understand by probability when i say so imagine there are m mutually exclusive events okay there are n favorable events for example i am tossing a coin so there can be two events in that that is head or tail so i can say that my mutually exclusive my total number of events for that matter is going to be 2 okay but the favorable events can be 1 so if i say the event of favorable case is happening can be given as probability of a so for a particular event to occur the probability is given as m divided by n where n is the total number of events m is that particular event happening the number of cases of it so if i talk about tossing a coin and getting a head tossing a coin there can be two outcomes head or tail so that is n and getting a head is only one that is m is one it can be 1/2 so that is probability out of all the events what is the probability of a particular event to occur next you should understand this terminology for example e is any random experiment as i told you is the sample space as i showed over here probability of a is given as this probability of b is given as this so i can say probability of any event for that matter not only a is always going to be greater than 0 you don't have any greater than equal to 0 you cannot have a probability of any, any event in negative okay it can be either positive or either it can be 0 the probability of total sample space is 1 and please remember this equation very well this equation will be used multiple number of times You should have the understanding of it very well. It's given as p of a union b. That's probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b. Now, probability of a intersection b can be broken down into probability of a into probability of b if my a and b are independent events. If they are not independent events. you will just keep it as probability of interception b if they are independent events you can break it as p of a into p of p 
so this is all what i wanted to teach in this class the basic terminologies please do re uh, revise these terminologies very well download the notes on the description box check my instagram page there are revision sheets uploaded on my instagram page please learn it very well so that when you watch the next video lecture you will be able to understand the concepts very well because all those concepts will have all these terminologies that i have taught in this class so i hope i am very clear if you like this video do not forget to like my like my video subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram as well thank you so much god bless